Hi, this is Michael from Southern Fire Guitars, and do you ever come across a nice old cigar box, but you notice that the label is all brittle like this and falling apart, and it's just coming off everywhere and kind of looks really bad, but the structure of the box is really good? What do you do with it? Do you just throw it away? I don't. I'll show you what I do. Stick around. The first thing I'm going to do with the box is... Take my little razor knife and cut the top off. Okay, I have the box outside on my work table. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a little scraper and I'm going to take as much of the label as I can. It'll come off very easy. And this is coming off really easy because it's very, very brittle. So I'm going to get all of this label off as much as I can here. Okay, the box I pretty much got sanded all pretty nice. I like to leave the stamped labels on the box. That's just me. You can sand them all the way off if you want. The only label I do take off is this one here. If it's on the box, you know, the warning, this product may contain blah, 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 blah. I like to take that off. I have the warning stamp removed by sanding it all the way off. Now I'm going to start on the lid. Now the lids can be a little more challenging getting the whole entire label off. I'm going to try very carefully to use the little scraper here and scrape as much as I can off without putting any, any gouges in the wood and then I'll sand the rest from there. Yeah, the label is really stuck to the top and I don't want to put any scratches in the top if I can help it. So I'm just going to use the sander. This may take a while, but here it goes. <laughs> I don't know what kind of glue they use on this top of the box, but I think they put it on there so it would never come off. Anyway, I got it off. My hand's still vibrating from the sander, but it's all good. Looks nice. What's next? Now, the good thing about having a clear, clean box top is you have no labels to work around with pickups or sound holes or anything. You can pretty much do whatever you want on it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two F holes on both sides here, F style holes, using this little template here. I don't know if you can see that. It's clear. There you go. And I got this little template from cbgiddy.com. And I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to put one here. So I'll trace that, measure it, trace it, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the template drawn on there, my little F hole on both sides, if you can see that. Now I'm going to take my drill bit right here and I'm going to put a hole here and a hole here so I could drop my scroll saw blade through and start cutting this out. Okay, I have the box lid outside by the scroll saw. My two little holes are drilled. I'm going to insert the blade through the hole and hook it up. I tried to lift the camera up some so you can kind of see what I'm doing as I'm cutting the sound hole out here. Let's do it. Get it out of there. Of course, we're going to have to go in with a file, some sandpaper, clean that up. It looks good. Now I'll do the other side. And here is the other one. It's pretty rough, but we're going to sand it out with a file and clean it up real nice. Well, this is the rough cut on the F holes for the box lid. Now I will take my little round file here and go in there and make those all nice and round. 
and uniform as much as I can for all those to match. I got my little box file. This is has four sides. And I will go into here to get this little defined right here. This, this part I actually missed. So I will have to fix that, make that, what little place that goes in there, fix that. And then we got this little half moon little file. And I'll clean up around like that. And then sandpaper on the inside. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, here's the finished lid with the F-holes pretty much done. They look pretty good. I might have to sand them a little bit more, but they look pretty good. And this is my box. I have a little arrow drawn in there because the neck is going to come out of this side. And I have a little arrow here. The neck's going to come out of the top. It's going to fit just like this because I want this little label to show up toward the player instead of the side with nothing on it. And this is going to be one of my hillbilly guitars. It'll be a fretless guitar with hillbilly, the word hillbilly burnt into the fingerboard. And it'll have a strike plate on the back for a tailpiece. And it's going to come out real nice. And I will show it to you when it's finished. This is the box completely finished with the neck on it. I haven't even got the tuners all the way installed yet. I still need to put the little screws in the back. This is what it looks like. I'll be putting the strings on it here in a few minutes. But that's how that box came out. That ugly Arturo Fuente box was made into that. Awesome. Hey, thanks for watching the video on that Arturo Fuente box with the bad cracking label into building this body for this guitar, the Hillbilly. It is fretless, has the fret markers there. The F-holes come out really nice. Please click the like button if you like the video, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more Cigar Box guitar videos, where I show tips on how to build them and how to play them. My name is Michael. Take care, and we'll see you next time. God bless.